In this lecture, you will learn about the template property of a component. So we have learned that each component has a selector property and the value of that selector property can be used like an HTML tag. And wherever we use that selector as an HTML tag, there the content of the view template of that component gets rendered. For example, wherever we will use this app nav as an HTML tag, there when we render the web page in the browser, there the content of this nav component.html will be rendered. Right, that's what we have learned. So to specify the view template of a component, here we are using template URL property. But we can also specify the view template of a component by using template property. Okay, so let's understand what is this template property and how it is different from template URL. So for that, let's go ahead and let's create a component. And let's use Angular CLI for that. So to create a component, we use ng generate component command. Now here we are going to create a notification component. So let's call it notification. Let's press enter and Angular CLI should create a new notification component for us. So this notification component has been created. Now here what we want to do is we want to display a notification in the web page saying that this website uses cookies for providing better user experience. Okay. So here we have this notification component. For this notification component, we have this selector app notification. Then we have this template URL, which is the view template for the notification component. Now here, I don't want to use template URL. Instead, I want to use template property. Now, when we are using template property, then we do not need to specify the path of any HTML file. Instead, we can specify the HTML itself. Okay, and since we are not using this, you know, this uh, template URL property and we are not specifying the path of this HTML file, let's delete this file. We don't need this here. Okay, and here, let's write some HTML. So here I'm going to create a div like this. Inside this div, let's add a paragraph element. And inside this paragraph element, let's specify some text like this. So here, when we are using this template property, to this template property, we are assigning an HTML string. So now, this HTML will be used as a view template for this app notification selector. Okay, so wherever we will use this app notification as an HTML tag, there, this HTML will be rendered. Let's see that. Let's use this app notification selector inside the container component. So let's go to this container component.html and after this header, let's use this app notification component. Let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. And here you can see that notification has been added. Okay. So with this template URL property, we specify a path to an HTML file which we want to use as a view template. But when we use this template property, in that case, to that template, we specify some HTML inside a string. So here we are using it inside these quotes. So we are assigning a string to this template and that string contains some HTML code. And wherever we will use this selector, this app notification as an HTML tag, there this HTML will be rendered. All right. Now, if you have multiple line of HTML code, then here you cannot use single quote or double quote. So if you want to span this HTML into multiple lines, then instead of using single quote or double quote, we can use backticks like this. Okay. And when we use backticks, then we can span over multiple lines. Okay. Like this. Okay, and it should still work. If I save the changes and if I go to the web page, it is still working. All right, now remember that you can use template property to specify your view template 
if you have not more than three lines of HTML code. If your HTML code contains more than three, three lines of HTML, then it is best practice to use external HTML file as template. And you can, you know, point to this external HTML file using template URL property like we are doing here. Okay. So here I just wanted to show you that you can also create your view template using this template property. Now using this template property have few disadvantages. So for example, when you are writing your HTML like this, if you misspell anything, then you won't come to know it. You will only come to know it during runtime. So let's say if I misspell this div as di, here VS code will not show any error. Okay. So we will not come to know about our error. And now if I go ahead and save the changes and if I go to the web page, you will notice that we have an error. And we come to know about this error only during runtime. At compile time, we don't see any error. So this is one disadvantage of using template property. Another disadvantage is here we are mixing TypeScript code with HTML code. And it's not a good practice. So I always prefer to use template URL because that's cleaner and we can also avoid any error during compile time. So this is all from this lecture. Thank you for listening and have a great day.